It has been said that the only place where a sacrifice is truly appreciated is in baseball. So let's take a look at why that, that just may be the case. And, and let's start off by looking at sacrifice bunts. So sacrifice bunt. And you may also hear it called a, a sack bunt or a sacrifice hit. And I think the reason why sometimes they call it a sacrifice hit is because generally when you say SB is an abbreviation, what you what is really being referred to is a stolen base. And and so we just say sacrifice hit or, or and and this would just be the uh, the same thing here as sacrifice hit or or what it's the same thing. So let's let's now that we have the shorthand way of saying it, let's look at what it actually is. So the first thing that we're going to need is there must be less than two outs. Less than two outs. And what's going to happen is in a sacrifice bunt is that either one, one base runner or multiple base runners are going to move from the base they are on now to the next base, and generally the, the batter he will he will get out so he's essentially he's sacrificing himself you know for the the better of the team so what we would say is that it's it's a play where that that you know advances advances you know one or more runner runners with a bunt and and the the batter is put out at first base. And so basically, you know, he's kind of he's giving himself up for the team. So he's going to help out the team and but even though he's not going to to you know, make it himself. So let's look just at a, at a quick example here. So we we would start with runners on base and it doesn't matter, you know, where where they are. Let's say we have a runner on first, and then we have uh, our our batter up at the plate. And a lot of times, it's in in especially in the National League when we have the pitcher batting. Pitchers generally aren't the the best hitters, so a lot of times the pitcher will be asked to sacrifice bunt. So he's gonna gonna square around. The pitcher's gonna throw the the, the pitch. The the uh, batter will lay down the bunt and and. So, in this case, we'll see see the different you know. So a lot of movement will happen, oftentimes, on the the defensive side of the ball as well. So, so the the third baseman over here, and we'll have the the pitcher will be here. Catcher will be here. You know, the first baseman is here, and so so it's the the batter's decision, kind of, if he, if he wants to to bunt the ball down the third base side, or if he wants to bunt it over here down the first base side. And so because you know it's just the direction that he points his bat at the last second, it kind of leaves it open. So so a lot of times you'll see the the third baseman he'll move in and he'll stand here, and because he, he knows it's coming in the first baseman, he'll move in and he'll stand here. At the moment the ball is bunted, then these guys they'll rush in. Even sometimes the pitcher will will come in to try to get it, and the catcher will run out. So you know we could have a lot of guys, a lot of guys, you know, going after the ball. But whoever gets there first will pick it up, and the other guys will get out of the way. And of course, this while that's happening, this runner's running to first. This this runner's running to uh, second. And because you know the goal for this, this play, usually it's an easier play to get the the batter at first base out. And so, obviously, with the first baseman charging, if it's obvious, you know he's going to bunt it down the third base side, the first baseman will just stay here. But but a lot of times you'll actually see the second baseman come over and he'll cover the base. So then whoever say the third baseman, you know, picks up the ball, and he'll be able to throw it to the second baseman to get the force out at first. And so um, one thing to, to, to you know, kind of realize is that 
if the batter gets out, we've already established if the, the runner advances to second and he's safe and the batter is out, then then he gets a, a sack bunt. He gets credit for the sack bunt. If in the occasion so this is this is runner runner advances and and batter is out. Then he gets the sack bunt. If in the the occasion the runner the the batter actually beats it out and he's he's safe at first and this this runner also advances so we'd say the the the, the runner is safe runner advances and the the batter is safe and and nobody is out in that case we would just give the the batter credit for a base hit and because in that case, you know, he's not really sacrificing himself because he he, he didn't he didn't get out. So, and the the other possibility that both are safe is if there is an error on the play. So if the the, the runner advances and there is an error on the play, say you know the third baseman picks the ball up and he throws it to the second baseman who's covering, and the second baseman drops the ball. And, and, and the official score judges that to be an error. So the, the batter is safe due, you know, due to error. Then, in that case, he would, he would get credit for the, for the sac sacrifice bunt, but he would still be on base because of the error. And so, so you know, these are, these are the, the three... You know, kind of scenarios that could that could play out, and there's one more that that happens. You know, it, it could happen, but it happens very rarely. So we'll take a look at that in the the next video if you want to stick around for that. But but generally, 98% of the time, whenever there's a sacrifice bunt, this is these are your key things to to remember. We're gonna have less than two outs. The the runner will advance. You know, with a punt, and 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 the the batter will be put out. 